Well, God bless you, everybody. Pat and Realm. It's good to talk to you guys. I'm taking a break from my series. Um, won't be going back to that until the 12th of September. But I want to talk to you about something that is key right now. What with the news media and the degenerate culture causing discouragement and fear and anger. We, we need to talk about this. I'm talking about the three antidotes to discouragement. The first one is the priesthood, okay? Especially those of you inside the uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And for the, you know, the rest of Christianity, it is the general priesthood of the believer. We, we each have that through Jesus Christ. It's a wonderful en encourager at this time. You know, when I think of that, I think about something that the speaker Dan Clark said in his book, The Art of Significance, that we need to move beyond commitments to move to the area of covenants. Because let me tell you something. Nothing encourages me more than to continually remind myself and renew my covenants every week. So that's why the pre priesthood is a wonderful... Um, it's a wonderful antidote for dis discouragement that's brought about by the degenerate culture. Okay? Second, the atonement of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ bled and died on a very cruel cross. He died for our sins, yes. But you know what? He died for our sorrows and our discouragement so that we would never have to be alone. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I, I think that the atonement, it's, it's a wonderful remedy that I have used many times when I have felt lonely or discouraged just applying the atonement to my life. You know, I, I think about one of my business mentors, Presley Swaggerty. He said this, you know, it's, it's good to be in business and everything, but our first purpose on this earth is to exalt Jesus Christ. And especially to exalt his atonement and what he's done for us. Let, let me tell you something. When I have felt lonely and discouraged, just thinking of his atonement, especially the past six years, thinking of his atonement helps me through some of that tough time. It really does. And so, we are called to stay strong. Okay? Now, next, and this is, um, this is key for each of us, if you will. Um, the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you something. I think that the Holy Ghost is a wonderful balm for loneliness and discouragement. I don't know how many times I've prayed and asked the Holy Ghost to tend to me because I felt lonely, because I felt discouraged. And many times, you know, I have had to repent of my sins to keep that feeling of the Holy Ghost from slipping away. Because the Holy Ghost is a wonderful remedy to help deal with uh, discouragement because he's a comforter. When I think of the Holy Ghost, I think about the theologian David A. Bednar, 
early on in his career as a as a theologian in my faith, he has taught to teach and learn by the Spirit. You can tell that the Spirit has a special call on, on this man. Yes, our degenerate culture loves to break the rules. It loves to um, tell us it is what it is, so be discouraged. But these are the best, let me tell you something. These are the best antidotes, the best remedies. They were given to me over five years ago when I was laid up after having fractured my skull. I was, there were nights I was lonely, and I would pray, and Heavenly Father would give me one of his antidotes, and one night he gave me three, and he said, I want you to present this to the world, to let people know, you know, hey, no matter how discouraged you may feel, I'm always here, and I am my son, Jesus Christ, we really care, we really care about you. Okay, so think about that. I already have this out in podcast. I wanted to put this out on YouTube so you guys could see where I'm coming from. Listen, it's easy. It's easy to want to be discouraged the way this degenerate culture is getting. But if we hold fast to Christ and, and the covenants that we made with him, we can keep the degenerate culture and its ideas for making our happy, for making our happiness slip away. I hope you enjoy watching. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of Pattern Room. Until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Go out there with God's help, surrendering to Him to build your dreams, so you can take it. Do what others don't, so you can be what others want, and do what others want, so you can have what others can't. Choose, act, and pursue happiness. God bless you. And remember this, from the bottom of my heart, Jimmy loves you. I really love you. God bless you, and please, have a blessed day. God bless you.